Thanks for watching coverage of the 2023 Ontario Doubles Crokino Championship. We are down to the quarterfinal stage when Connor Reinman and John Conrad are taking on Andrew Hutchinson and Jeremy Tracy. Connor Reinman started off with an open 20 there and Hutchinson went just long. Conrad gets the 20, very nicely done. No takeout there, but that won't necessarily play against them. Tracy misses a little bit, uh, just a little wide on that open 20 line. Reinman eyeing up the takeout 20. Gets the off, but no 20 with it. So a chance here, Hutchinson looking for a driving follow through, can't get it. And Conrad will all too happily play to the outside. Actually rolls that one up into a pretty nice little spot. Conrad and Reinman up two 20s to none, but without the hammer here. Tracy looking after one of these discs in the outside. It's a really nice controlled take out there. As Reinman leans across, just trying to play good solid defense. He may have left that in a place where Tracy can score a 20. Hutchinson just misses the angle in. Now Conrad. A little bit of discussion with the con men team as Conrad gets a good bounce through the house. A healthy bit of discussion here. I think the reason why Reinman called his partner off there from, uh, from removing the white disc in the house was because Tracy was going to have to move things around here with this shot if he wanted to get to the 20 hole. And he winds up delaying with those two discs, practically touching in the 15. Ryan says he's looking to roll the shooter over toward Conrad, which he does a little bit too far. Chance maybe for Hutchinson to go around the horn here and score a 20. Lovely shot there. Great touch off the black disc, kisses off their own white disc and into the 20 hole. Now a curious play there leaves a chance for Hutchinson, uh, for Hutchinson and Tracy to sit two discs on the board, down the 20 and with hammer. This is not easy though. Tracy had to half hole it and couldn't get the off. Now Conrad and Reinman sit two discs on. Hutchinson could eye up a double takeout here, but he would pretty much need to get into the 15 as well. This is such a skinny touch. Do you want to go after this one in this post? Yeah. Hutchinson now just looking for a bounce off a peg here, but he misses the peg. If Conrad can score the open 20 here, this will put a lot of pressure on, and that one flicks off a peg on the way in. Still a very advantageous position for Conrad and Reinman here. As the players at this quarterfinal stage still able to have a good laugh. Tracy gets some good action off the pegs, but this should still be pretty accessible for Reinman to hit, which he gets. Maybe a double, a double takeout opportunity here. Tracy calls him off, suggesting the takeout 20. This needs to be struck really well, and just off the line. Conrad slides over to the right, gets the takeout. Now a nearly impossible triple takeout 20. I might upgrade that to completely impossible triple takeout 20 needed and not achieved. So John Conrad and Connor Reinman take the first two points of this quarterfinal match. It's a race to nine points. And you see here that opening shot for John Conrad, his first shot of the playoffs. is a really excellent take there. And Andrew Hutchinson with a really beautiful round the horn, double tap 20. Nicely taken and Hutchinson now starts off the second round with the open 20 success. Conrad comes up well shy here. Tracy slides off to his left to make the takeout, which he gets. Ryman just rolls that into a workable position here. Hutchinson to keep play away from, uh, from any scoring regions as best he can, but a slice 20 available here for Conrad. Which he gets. Very nice touch from Conrad there. Tracy can restore the advantage with a 20. 
And he does. Reinman jams on the takeout there. Not very well played. Hutchinson with a chance here. To set up a big advantage, but he rolls off the board. Conrad now needs to bring this toward play. Leaves that in a pretty good spot. Tracy said it best. There's not much choice on this shot but to come in. He'll have to roll in, and he gets the 20 with it. An excellent shot. He would have loved the takeout, but he's happy with that 20. Hutchinson can see this one from the outside. I think Tracy was rightly worried about the leave, but, uh, but that's easily handled by Hutchinson. Reinman asks Conrad to roll it a little bit toward him if he can, and that's very nicely played. If Tracy just hits and sticks to it, there will be an angle in chance for Reinman. So he's going to try and move this toward Conrad. Very well done there. Not much to do but a hit and stick for Reinman. Hutchinson may look to roll this one as well. They're just trying to keep play away from the center for as long as possible. Oh, Hutchinson rolls too far. Straight off the board. Conrad a chance to tie the 20 count. He resets. And just lips out on a critical open 20 attempt. Tracy now. The easy, the, the natural rollout is toward Reinman. And that's what he does. Just a little underpowered. It's still quite awkward here. No easy 20. She's going to have to push for the follow through. Oh my goodness. No shortage of power on that one. But no 20 scored either. Hutchinson looking, trying to isolate the best way to uh, to make this takeout. And his partner disagreeing on uh, on the precise way to uh, to make some takeouts. Hutchinson now, this is a pretty big shot here, and he leaves that at least very tough up against a peg. Conrad maybe eyeing up the bounce back twenty here. Nope, just playing, playing steady. This is definitely hoping for a tie. We'll need at least an opening on this last shot. And Tracy puts that in a very nice spot. Only a really difficult follow through here for Connor Reinland to tie the round, and it won't go. So Hutchinson and Tracy make the steal right back, and it was enabled by that excellent angle in 20 by Jeremy Tracy. John Conrad made a, a really nice slice 20 there as well, but uh, not enough as this race to nine points match is tied at two and John Conrad comes up short in the opening. Tracy looking for just that, uh, that short ricochet 20, which he gets. Very nicely done. Reinman answers by going long with the open 20. Another takeout 20 chance here for this Hutchinson Tracy team. They were the second seeds coming out of the second round of this tournament, and they score a second takeout 20 in this third round. Conrad gets his team on the board with the open 20. And Tracy counts as much as that one. Reinman makes up for his mistake there with the open 20. Hutchinson makes it four in a row for the table. Conrad keeps the rhythm going. Tracy loses a disc there. He'll have to resettle himself. As each of these shots is pretty important, even though they're uh, in a, a comfortable position at the moment, Hutchinson and Tracy. That's good composure there from Jeremy Tracy to make that open 20. Ryden with an efficient shot there, just enough power to get to the hole. And the moon has been shot. Eight straight 20s for the board. Conrad's bounces out. Overpowered there. And this leaves Hutchinson and Tracy a great chance to hold on to a big advantage. That one bounced back precariously off the hole, though. Oh, and that one lipped off the hole as well. This is a long road back for Team Conrad and Reinman. Now... Conrad needs to come in off of this. I think the black disc in the house is blocking the path to the 20 hole, and it was. 
just defending now for the two seeds. And lays that one nicely against the peg. Brandon will have to go for a bounce back 20 here. This is very difficult. And it almost got it coming and going. That changes precious little in this round. Hutchinson weighing up the uh, the decisions here. I think all they need is simple takeouts for the rest of the round, and they should take it. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a bonus twenty scored by Andrew Hutchinson. He was going for the black disc on the other side of the board, caught two pegs, and made a remarkable takeout twenty, and that seals the round. As uh, with the 220 advantage, there's nothing left to do. Rindman will go through his own for fun and makes a good takeout. But it was Andrew Hutchinson's razzle-dazzle shot to finish that stitched it up. Tracy with that good short ricochet 20 right off, right from the buzzer. But this is, this is the shot that will fill all the highlight packages. What a fabulous, fortunate shot from Andrew Hutchinson. And you can see the reaction from both him and Rindman. That was... Uh, that was definitely a, uh, viewed as fortunate by the players at the table. Tracy, to start off round four, gets an unlucky bounce out. Reinman moving very carefully over to his left and makes the takeout 20. Nicely executed. That was a heavy hanger on the left side. Hutchinson responds in turn, though. And Conrad comes up well shy. Tracy's going to have to slide over to his left just to make the takeout. And he jams it off a peg. A little bit of an awkward leave here for Reinman, though. I'm not sure what he'll go for. Gets the takeout off a peg. Did not see that one coming. So Hutchinson lining up the double takeout here. Or trying to carve in off the single. Carves in with the, with the single takeout. That was nicely played. But Conrad puts that one very nicely between the pegs. Tracy's going to have to carve this one in on, on an off angle here. And Tracy is thinking something much more aggressive here. This is a really bold line. Executed to perfection, though. That was an excellent shot that deserves a replay. Perfectly tapped up the hangar 20 opportunity for Hutchinson. It's sitting there. And that one rolled a little too far for, for Reinman there. This may be a double takeout 20 opportunity. Oh, it jams on the second one, but a really excellent takeout 20. Set up perfectly by Jeremy Tracy. Conrad nullifies it with the open 20 though. Tracy looking for the angle in again and it just lips out. Brandon sticks that one neatly, squarely in front of Hutchinson. All that's left to go for is a follow through 20. That one just sort of stuck on Hutchinson. Conrad may look for the ricochet 20. No, that one stays well back. Nothing too bad here. Two shots left for each player. Tracy looking for a bounce off a peg, trying to generate some offense here. And almost does. Really excellent try there. May have left a bit of a hanger for Reinman though. Oh, jammed. All sorts of twists and turns in this round. Three shots left for either team, for both teams. The command from Tracy being, go for the follow through. We have a good attempt there, just off the line. Conrad and Reinman. Eyeing up how best to uh, to make a difference here. They will sit two discs. There are two discs on the board, one of either color. That one, the uh, the white disc that's on the board is difficult for Reinman to remove. It's possible for Conrad, but this uh, this could lead to a surprisingly complex finish. Tracy discussing the pros and cons of, of gunning for offense here. Rolls that one across. Conrad, or excuse me, Reinman may look 
for a double takeout here? This could be possible. So that doesn't get it. So a bit of a, a bit of a tricky setup here. Hutchinson needs to bring his shooter into the 15. As Tracy just said, Hutchinson needs this in the 15. Or it will be a hit and stick chance for the two points. Well taken there. Now Conrad. I can't tell if that disc is a 10 or a 15. They say it's a 15. Players decide that a double takeout is not available, so Conrad makes the single takeout and takes a tie. So the score reaches five points to three here, and it must be uh, must be said again. What a great assist play from Jeremy Tracy that got them right back into the round. Now four rounds are through, and Ryman comes up short with the opening 20 attempt. Hutchinson leans over here, trying to make at least the 20. Which he doesn't get. Conrad eyeing up different ways to make the takeout here. This is tricky. Conrad leaning over here, looking for a follow through 20, gets it, and we have a rare situation here as there is a black 20 and a white disc leaning onto it. The players have, uh, have invoked the Hutch Daddy principle as Andrew Hutchinson himself removes the disc from the 20 hole and leaves that white disc just hanging over the hole a little bit. Very well taken there and well handled by the uh, by the group of players. That wasn't any more complicated than it needed to be. Reinman happily pushes that one outside. Hutchinson needs to bring this into the middle and potentially even disturb the disc that they have over there, and that's really well done by him. Conrad could still have a takeout 20 opportunity here. See if he likes it. Oh, that was that was close there. That rattled around a little bit. So Hutchinson and Tracy. Sitting two discs on the board, that's a little closer than he'd like it, but the natural lane to score the takeout 20 is blocked by the other white disc. Could this be another chance where Reinman tries to pull back and leave the hangar 20 for his partner? There's still a lot of shots left in this round. That looks like what they're going to go for here. Oh my goodness, that one drifted all the way through, leaving certainly a, a, at least a touch 20 chance here. If nothing else, a chance to, uh, to move that white disc further away from the 20 hole. Hutchinson going for it, comes up short. A little bit short of pace here, and now this is awkward. Conrad sliding over here just a little to the left, looking for a takeout on the right-hand disc in the 20. Gets no takeout, but the 20 is handled very nicely. Maybe there's an angle in here for Tracy. The question is, will it get by the white disc that's in play? Hutchinson thinks so. And we may never know, as that one just stuck squarely on him. Very odd. And Reinman makes a nice takeout 20. They go up three. Hutchinson needs this open 20 if they're to stay alive in the round, which he gets. Conrad sliding across, just looking for a nice takeout stick amongst the pegs, but rolls it beautifully into the five facing his partner. Now very little to go for here. Hutchinson suggesting a slice across the white disc in play.
This is very, very difficult here. Great shot just to get the touch on the other one. No 20, of course. And I'm just trying to roll this across, and he's done so well. This is a surprisingly tense round. Still definitely chances here for Hutchinson and Tracy with the hammer. Oh, trying to catch a peg, it didn't go. And now the chances are starting to fade for this team. They really need, Tracy needs to bring this one in or peel it off, and he did neither. Tracy says, make the takeout 20 here, and Hutchinson just missing on the line there. Conrad makes the takeout and secures the two points. Tracy nearly makes the follow through for Pride, but it is a steal of two points and we're tied at five. A couple of a couple of really fun, exciting shots in that round. And just a really fundamental 20 here from John Arino. This match now tied at five in the race to nine. Hutchinson will start us out in round six. And he comes up a fraction short, a millimeter shy of the 20. Really nice controlled roll there from John Conrad. Tracy just sticks. Happy to play patient. Ryman going for this through Hogan's alley and places that in an only follow throughable position. But Hutchinson right, looking to see if it's available for just a thin snick. I don't think it is. He's going to have to go for the push. Oh, that just stunned. No follow through at all. It ricochets straight across. Conrad moves that one about an inch. He's so uh, so good at, at that uh, control in tight. Tracy mulling over a self-assist but decides against it. Just plays for the hit and stick. I think wisely there. Ryman gets a fraction of follow through. I think it's far enough away that Hutchinson can't score the 20. And it was. Now definitely a 20 chance here for Conrad. Oh, hit that quite hard and it bounced out of the hole. At least made sure of the takeout on it. Tracy can't get the slice 20 to go. Ryman nails a great follow through 20. Gives his team a big advantage. Hutchinson coming up just short on what would have been a highlight reel 20 of his own. Conrad tried to roll that one away, but he may have left a slice 20 chance for Tracy. It doesn't go. Reinman now sliding over to the left, looking for another takeout 20 from there, which he makes. Hutchinson needs to gun for it all here and gets about four or five peg bounces off of that. Nearly scores another circus 20 in this match. Conrad made a bit of a mess of that takeout 20, but it shouldn't be too hard. They shouldn't be punished for it, as up two 20s with the hammer is a great position to be in. Reinman all too happy to stick to the outside, as Hutchinson may be able to bring this back off a peg, but it's very precise. Great shot from him. Two discs in play. Andrew Hutchinson is making all sorts of shots here, and that is a perfect placement. The takeout guarantees it that the two points are going to Conrad and Reinman again as they now take a lead in this match at seven points to five and that follow through 20 was so huge in establishing the lead. Reinman was also able to knock down this takeout 20 from the left hand side but uh, all of that is in the rear view mirror now perhaps a little bit of confidence as Conrad comes up short with his opening shot. Tracy We'll look for at least the touch 20, but it bounces out on him. Oh, a couple of shots have come up very, very close. For Tracy, and they just haven't gone. Now a chance for Hutchinson looking for a bounce back 20. He's made a couple of great shots and just missed on a couple of others. And that one just misses as well. Conrad with a nice roll out, but he's left a ricochet chance here for Tracy. He's already made one of these, and that one goes. Great shot, the slow roller drops. But Ryman makes another one with the open 20 there. Hutchinson and Tracy are on their back feet here. 
Hunrad should be able to stick this one well away. It bounces around, but stays well away from Tracy. Again, the discussion of what to do there settles on play patient. There's still definitely shots to, uh, to play with here. Reinman makes a nice roll away there. Now Conrad and Reinman just two points away from a spot in the semifinals. Hutchinson and Tracy will need to manufacture something. That's a pretty good shot to bring that back toward him. Conrad pushes this one toward Tracy. This could be in the wheelhouse. Take out 20 chance here. Uh, at least the touch 20 made there. He wasn't going for anything more. Just challenging Reinman to make the 20, which he barely does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Three twenties to two for Conrad and Reinman. Hutchinson is going to need at least to push this in toward the middle. If he loses this on the outside, then they have lost another couple of shots just trying to get back toward the middle. Hutchinson pushes in toward the middle a bit. Conrad probably going to try to roll out toward Hutchinson. Not out, but in a really good defensive spot, to be sure. Tracy will look for a bounce off a peg here. Gets a few of them and comes up a fraction short again. So many opportunities for those razzle-dazzle shots. That one rolled out nicely, but another ricochet 20 chance here for Andrew Hutchinson. He would love to make this. Hutchinson eyeing this one up. It almost needs to go here. Just off the line. Last round of shots each, as Ryan points out. That one doesn't go off. Chance here for Jeremy Tracy. The players discussing what's needed here. The touch 20 is pretty easy for Tracy. But, uh, but he would really love to get the takeout as well. If he gets the takeout as well, then Reinman needs to make that long Ricochet 20 go. And that is far from guaranteed. This is not a trivial shot at all. Tracy, weighing up his options, winds up just going for the touch. Now Reinman cannot just sit in the 5. That will leave an easy double. He needs to go for the 20 here. And it's off the line. So a takeout chance here for Andrew Hutchinson to tie this match up at seven points apiece. There's a little bit of confusion between these players. And again, Andrew Hutchinson now just needs this takeout. Stay at least in the 10. There is pressure on this. Jamming the takeout or losing the shooter would be devastating, but that is enough. Hutchinson makes the takeout, sticks in the 15, and that gets them the two points in the round. That was a great angle in 20 from Jeremy Tracy, and a really nice touch 20 here toward the end. Now, heading into a winner take all round. Conrad and Reinman will have the hammer. Every shot is critical. Tracy sends that one well long. Chance here. An early advantage to Conrad and Reinman. And that was very well handled there to control the bounce off the peg. Hutchinson. Just rolls over a little bit. There is a touch 20 at least available here for Conrad, which he gets with the takeout. Fantastic shot to get an early advantage. Tracy just drops that one. Tied at one in the cup. Reinman knows that all these shots are so pivotal. He takes a moment and resets. A little bit of, uh, of banter going on at the table. But Reinman scores the 20 through it all. Good composure there. Hutchinson also drops the 20. We're tied at two. Conrad drains it. 3-2. And four shots left for each player. Still quite a lot of Crokinole left in this round. 
Tracy. Drains the open 20. Players taking a little bit more time between each shot. I'm not sure why Jeremy Tracy said that he'd be quite happy with a way. Seems if there's just one disc on the board at the end, that's, uh, that's an easy win for Conrad and Reinland. Reinland calls for it a fraction toward him. Doesn't go, but uh, that's all sorts of okay. And the realization comes in. The hammer, of course, to Conrad and Reinland in this round at 7-7. Seven, seven. Tracy now suddenly shifting to offense, needs to uh, look for a ricochet 20. Can he come up big with another one here? Just off the line, but left in a great position. This is never easy. Paramount here is that, uh, that Reinman keep his, uh, his shooter in play and not leave a 20 chance for his opponent, and I think that's mission accomplished. Hutchinson may look for a big angle in. It hops off the hole. What a great try. Conrad now perhaps eyeing up the double takeout. Just misses it by a fraction. This round becoming complex rather rapidly. Tied in the cup with two shots left for each player. Tracy now shifting, maybe looking for the double takeout, and let the second one jams. So now, Ryman wondering if he can stay to the outside safely. He could come in, uh, he's thinking about coming in and moving that black disc close to the hole away, but I think that, uh, that could probably only cause more harm than good. If he sticks uh, too close to it, it'll wind up leaving an easier takeout 20 chance for Andrew Hutchinson. But they decide to go in, and that's an okay result. Definitely a 20 chance off of this disc that Hutchinson is pointing to. This is an opportunity, and it would be huge if it's made. Hutchinson narrowly, narrowly misses that. These two discs could be lined up for a double, but again, never trivial here. This is a, this is a complicated situation as this match nears its close. Conrad maybe trying to blast that disc out of the middle, going for a follow through. It comes up shy. Now this, you would want uh, as a player to try and leave that black disc hanging over the hole for Hutchinson, but it's it's never going to be there if it's left alone. Reinman will go through that disc and knock it onto the natural disc sitting there. Although, uh, Tracy is, is trying to make this work here. If he can go through his own, make the takeout on the back black disc, that may not leave anything available. Now looking at the double takeout from the left-hand side, uh, that was really steep to try and make that. Goes for a lot there, and not a lot goes off. This is left awkward, though. The, the natural disc is tight to that peg. This is a big shot in this round. It's Conrad thinks that it goes cleanly, but this is very, very precise here for Ryman. It doesn't go. So, again, more complicated opportunities here. Hutchinson thinking about rolling in off of that disc in the 10, trying to leave the two discs as complicated as possible. Maybe even get the 20 off of that disc. A little bit wide, but this is a, a takeout for the two points and the match here for John Conrad. All he needs is one off. It's jammed and bounces back. A tie in this deciding round is not enough 
the tie if the tie in the round means we will head to one more winner take all round tied at eight points apiece the hammer shifts back to Hutchinson and Tracy and the first miss comes from Connor Reinman right off the bat Hutchinson looks for the re or the ricochet 20 doesn't get it Conrad I think will play will play easy here he would love to get the takeout but that's fine for his shooter Reinman could even eye up the double, and that's what he gets. A really nice shot. Great vision to see that. And Hutchinson now has to make at least a slightly hidden takeout through Hogan's Alley. Hutchinson eyeing it up, and he makes it cleanly. There is a ricochet 20 chance here for John Conrad. And it comes up a little off the line. Tracy... Just a hit and stick will be plenty here, but he rolls it out very nicely. Not sure what Ryman sees here. Pushes that through a little bit. That is an okay shot. Hutchinson should be able to stick to it pretty clean, though, which will leave very little for Conrad if it's made. Oh, it rolls out. So another roll in, angle in 20 chance for John Conrad here. And this one he nails. Very well taken there. Reinman and Conrad score the first 20 of the decider, but Tracy levels it off. Halfway through the round, and Reinman is able to follow up with an open 20. Hutchinson now bounces out on him. A devastating miss there. Leaves Conrad with a chance to roll out to his right. Toward Hutchinson, that takeout barely goes. Tracy just trying to stick to it. If he does, it'll be tricky. And it is a little bit tricky, but Reinman leaves that in an awkward spot. This, it looks like it is accessible for, uh, for Hutchinson to roll in from the right. Oh, that's a bad result there. Conrad can stick to this and leave it awkward here. He hasn't left it super awkward, but more shots wasted for Hutchinson and Tracy. Reinman gets a nice takeout and stick there. This needs to come into the 15 at least for Andrew Hutchinson or the match is over. Conrad would be able to stick to the outside with a 20 advantage. This must go into the 15 ring. And it does not. He loses the shooter. So John Conrad with an opportunity. He will take his patented shot going over toward the right and it's placed very nicely here. Jeremy Tracy needs to manufacture a takeout 20 out of thin air to keep his team in it. If he makes it, they will head to 9-9 and a third winner take all around, but it is very precise. Tracy with a shot. He may try to bring it toward the peg to the, uh, just above the disc as we see it. Gets a lot of buzz on it, but it does not go. Conrad and Reinman pull out a 10-8 victory over Tracy and Hutchinson. What an exciting match, and they book their spot in the semifinals.